inchi inavyoendeshwa sasa hizi katika Kenya the corruption the ethnicity the embezzlement of public resources ni kitu ambacho sisi lazima as a country and a society tupigane against juzi walisema ile ya kwa Kenya haikutimiza signature na sisi sote twajua the IBC is a partisan organization kwa hivyo sisi tunaomba IBC na niwafanya hii appeal hapa kwa ndugu zangu the IBC must now disband the biggest recipe for violence the catalyst for instability in this country ni IBC because of the impartial role they play in the management of the elections na wale wengi hapo ni ndugu zetu waislamu so we are asking them with kind consideration on our knees waondoke if they do not leave the kenyan people will force them to leave na leo ibc why am i telling you this to the nubian people no matter what levels of arrangements you do in kibera or anywhere in the country for as long as the ibc is partisan they will not be able to deliver on the promise of a free and fair election na sisi wa nubi hapa tume, tumesema nimemsikia dr marjana asema you are loyal to the government you are loyal to the state called kenya governments change but states remain we are loyal to this state called kenya kwa vile this is ni baba yetu na ni mama yetu na kidio kizazi chetu kiko hapa but we have the opportunity to replace government every year every five years and this government iko na mnubi mmoja katika serikali hii sisi twashindwa na uganda do you have a single nubian because you do not come from the right ethnic group if you do not come from the right ethnic group in this country kiss goodbye your representation in government sisi tunasema you need to ensure that you have the right political philosophy ili tuweze hivi vizazi vyetu kumalizia vishiishi katika dhulma leo vipi mtoto wa kinubi anakataliwa identity card why because he has a muslim name we might not have the numbers but we definitely have the capacity tuko na uwezo tuko na fikra to overcome any challenge mimi mr prime minister i spent most of my life in nairobi waislamu wa nairobi ni wawili tu kama si mnubi ni msomali hakuna muislamu mwingine nairobi sisi wengine tumeongeza numbers these issues si hiari ya mtu si hiari hiari sijui ya rais kinyata wa kwanza si hiari ya mwai kibaki si hiari ya daniel toroiti charap moi si hiari ya uru kinyata si hiari ya raila odinga si hiari ya kalonzo musyoka these are constitutional obligations these men and women have sisi we are asking you why am i saying this because you are here as a collective mkiondoka hapa mjue kuna waislamu wenzenu kuna wa Kenya wenzenu kuna East Africans wenzenu ambao who are looking for an opportunity to make a difference in this society mimi wasiwasi wangu ni serikali irudi in a manner that jeopardizes our long term interest that's why we need to have IBC replaced to have a new commission a new commission that will give us an objective election so that this society can live with peace and harmony mwambie Raila Odinga apatie sisi ministry of culture aone tutakavyoirudisha tukiingia sisi ni finance defense national security treasury nani anatushinda sisi katika kuongeza hii serikali we are the most honest people i have been in public service for 10 years sija sijakuwa alleged hata naiba naiba pini not because of anything because of my muslim culture it it forbids me to be a thief forbids me to be a thief. Wewe ukiona mslamu yote yeye ofisadi mkubwa have question marks about his etiquette. So that because sisi uh, sisi uswatun hasana we give the great examples to others. So that's why I'm asking IBC to be a great example and exit before this country is in a crisis. We will if they don't exit we will exit them. The Nubians will be with us, the Kenyans will be with us and every person of good will will be with us so that we can have a free and fair election many people often say that uh, nubians 
uh, Indians or more so Sudanese who came to Uganda to probe up Idi Amin's regime. And in the process, they committed a lot of atrocities against indigenous Ugandans. This also gives the impression that the Nubians were brought to Uganda by Idi Amin, which is not correct. Late 1800, in the Anglo-Egyptian Sudan, they are now an integral community in Uganda and the other East and the Central African countries. They are outright citizens of their respective countries where they settled and have contributed to the peace, stability, social, political, and economic development of those countries. The 2016 Interstate Cultural Festival is one of the avenues through which the Nubians celebrate their cultural heritage and values and include it into the young generations for it, for it to be appreciated and nurtured for continuity purposes. It's a handover session. Yes, 
Mombasa hii. Uwaji wa chama Ai una imani sote tunakutambua ni kweli hao kina mafulani hebu na wasonge mbali hapa omomba saya didimia kusema mnaogopa kuleta maendeleo katu haipendi shari ongeza ojuhudi za komurua umeonyesha weza Ningependa kutukua hiyo fursa Adhim Kumtambua 